is up everybody this is chris from the rewired soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution and if you're new to my channel my channel is all about mental health so if you're into improving your mental and emotional well-being make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell so yeah for all of my loyal subscribers out there setup looks a little bit different because what we are doing today i'm going to try to keep it short and sweet we are going to be taking a three minute depression test from psychom.net all right and what we're going to be doing we are going to be doing a challenge for the next two weeks this is a collaboration with my mom dr carrie randazzo and i want all of you to take this test i'm going to link it down below and we're going to compare it now to where we're at in two weeks all right so i will link this down in the description below but let's get started all right, so instructions. Below is a list of questions that relate to life experiences common among people who have been diagnosed with depression. Please read each question carefully and indicate how often you experience a symptom, uh, oh, you experience the same or similar challenges in the past few months. Your privacy is important to us. All results are completely anonymous. Thanks, Psycom. All right, little interest or pleasure in doing things. Not at all, several days, more than half the days, nearly every day. Um, several days, eh, yeah, little, yeah, okay. Uh, feeling down, depressed, or hopeless? Like feeling down, yeah, not depressed or hopeless, really, no, several days. Um, trouble falling or staying asleep or sleeping too much? Nope. Like, I don't get great sleep, but that's partially because of sleep apnea, but not the depression thing. All right, feeling tired or having little energy? <sighs> okay, okay, all right. So this, this this is like a weight slash apnea thing, but I'm working on it. So I'll say more than half days, just because I'm tired like constantly. Like a lot of you are like, how do you get work done so much? And caffeine. All right, poor appetite or overeating? You know, I don't really overeat that much. Tristan, do I overeat? I'll put, I'll put several days. I'll, I'll just put several days. Uh, feeling bad about yourself or that you are a failure or have to let yourself, uh, or have let yourself or your family down. Uh, I'll say several days. Like I do struggle with some negative self-talk on occasion. Um, <clears throat> trouble concentrating on things such as reading the newspaper or watching te uh, television. Nah. Uh, moving or speaking uh, so slowly that other people could have noticed. It's funny because I read that question pretty slowly, <laughs> but no, not at all. Uh, I used to though. I, I say like back when I used to be super depressed all the time, I used to t like talk like Eeyore, like, okay. Oh. All right. Thoughts that you would be better off dead or hurting or of hurting yourself. No, not at all. If you have had if you've had any days with issues above, how difficult have these problems made it for you at work, home, school, or with other people? Not difficult. But back like if I would have taken this like years ago when my life sucked um, and I was experiencing a lot of depression, these answers would have been much, much different. So let's enter this to let them know that I am human. G L K D email rewired soul you guys can see this it's on my about page if you guys ever want to email me i suck at checking them but you guys can email me whenever you want submit all right so i took that depression test let's see what's popping does it give me like a score let's see what happens your score all right your your answers suggest Wait, what is this? No, I don't want to receive it. Mild depression. Your answer suggests that you are suffering from mild depression. Consider watchful waiting and testing again normally within two weeks. That's the next part. Consider offering one or more low intensity psychosocial interventions. We recommend you schedule an appointment with your doctor. If you need help finding a mental health professional, we suggest that you reach out to NAMI. NAMI is another great resource, uh, National Association of Mental Illness, I believe. But yeah, um, my channel is also supported by BetterHelp if you wanna try online therapy. But if you, if you have an insurance provider, 
call up your insurance, see what therapists are within your network or talk to your doctor, see if they can recommend anybody. I do need to make some more videos on how to find the right therapist. And booyah, it looks like we're keeping this right around five minutes. But anyways, like I said, this is a collaboration with my mom. So there are studies out there that discuss how gratitude, something as simple as keeping a gratitude journal can help decrease symptoms of depression. So what we're all gonna do, we're gonna do a two week gratitude challenge and you'll see how easy it is when you go check the video my mom and I did. I'm gonna link it up in the info card down in the description as well as in the uh, um, pinned comment. So I'm gonna save this. So that's my little thing that I use to take screenshots. I'm gonna save this and I want all of you to save this as well. Now head over to my mom's channel, watch that video. We're gonna do this thing together and in two weeks, we're gonna see if this is true. If practicing some gratitude for um, two weeks can actually decrease symptoms of depression, all right? But anyways, thank you so, so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Thanks to all of my lovely patrons out there. You are all amazing. And if you're not yet, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos all about mental health, all right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.